hi guys welcome back to the course and in this video we will validate the form values submitted by the user so uh, the name should be at least three characters the email should be unique the password and confirm password should be same and the password and confirm password should at least be five characters long so to do these validations let's go to brackets and go to the top of the page and inside this if create another if and this if will actually check the length of the name submitted by the user so we will use the string len function which is built in php so we will pass it oops dollar underscore post name less than three if the length of the name is submitted by the user is th less than three then do this and now we will actually redirect the user to the same page and we will also send the error message with the redirect so register.php and to add a get variable we are actually sending the uh, error message using the get variable so to create a get variable we will use this question mark here so error equals to concatenate this dot is actually used to concatenate two strings or two data types so we will use the error message will be the name must be at least three characters long long and one more line so we are let's do one more thing let's url encode this URL encode actually makes a string safe for use in the URL so that it cannot cause any sort of URL problems so let's go ahead and view that in the browser so refresh the page and enter a name less, which is less than three characters so it should display an error message enter an email one two three one two three why we are not seeing the error message you can see that the error message has been appended to the url but we are not able to see the error message why it's not happening oh we actually did not add the div to display the error message so where is it yes below the title of the form let's add a div the class of the div will be alert actually alert and alert classes are used to uh, create the error messages and show any sort of information to the user in bootstrap so alert danger this will make the error message red so we will start a php block inside this div so we will simply echo out the error message so we will we use the get me, get method to send the error message to the url so we will use the get dollar underscore get and the name was i think e double r and we want to add an if before this div because we don't want to display the error message every time we want to display the error message if the oops we did not start the php tag php if is set 
dollar underscore get error we are simply saying that if if the error message the URL contains the error message then show this div with the error message otherwise don't do this so let's close the oops let's close out this bracket and save it and now if we submit this form again we are able to see the error message the name must be at least three characters long now let's go and let's check if then we make the name three character oops three characters the error message is still here why is that let's see what's the problem so oh i got i found the problem the problem is actually that we did not set the action url so the action url is actually register.php if we do not set the action url the page sends the form data to the same url which is the error url so that's why we are seeing this error so now it should be fine oops why it's still register.php save it now refresh it oops no don't refresh now you can see that the error message is gone so now let's validate the password and confirm password fields so add an else if else if dollar underscore post post password password not equals to dollar underscore post confirm password confirm underscore password then do this we'll actually do the pretty much the same thing we just need to change the error message so change the error message the error message is this time the password password and confirm password do not match so let's go ahead and change the password so that it does, does not match this password so now if we submit you can see that we are able to see the error message the password and confirm password do not match so let's validate one more thing actually two more things the first one is the password we want to make sure that the password the length of the password is at least five characters so if password is less oops we actually have to enclose this inside the str len function now we are good to go no uh, is less than five characters if the password is less than five characters copy this these two lines you just need to change the error message the password should be at least five characters so let's go ahead and submit this form password and confirm password do not match okay i got the problem because this is uh, this message is showing up because this else if is before this one so if we fix this error and now if we submit the password should be at least five characters so it's doing it so now 
let's create another else for the confirm password because the confirm password should also be at least five characters so let's confirm underscore password so so let's go ahead actually it is showing the password should be at least five characters because i already told you that actually this error message is coming before this one that's why it's showing this one so i think that's it for this video and in the next video we will check this email address for the uniqueness because email address should be unique for every user so stay tuned